Good evening. I am Sai Anand Sharma. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's my topic is create something you would die for. What the hell you are talking? Why would I die if you if I want to create something? So this is the famous quote that I have read from the book The Everyday Hero Manifesto by Robin Sharma. In this book, this quote. If you are not creating something you would die for then you are not fit to live. What does that mean? Every one of us has a purpose. Every one of us has a burning desire, but most of the people buried it in their lives because they have been subjected to the emotions. They have surrendered themselves for the uh, for the situations. They have surrendered themselves to the media mediocrity. If you want the creating something you would die for is something where you become an entrepreneur you become a leader you become an influencer you become a passionate individual you become a outstanding energetic and charismatic leader to inspire others you become a helpful humanitarian you become a most valued person with your talks with your speeches with your works and everything it whatever it might be whatever your passion is whatever your compassion is Unlike you are compassion with what you want to create and if you want to create that something you would die for and that is where the point of rejoice lies that is where the moment of rejoice lies that is where you will be recreating yourself everyone has a passion to carry and my passion is writing my passion is recording videos my passion is training the individuals my passion is helping the individuals to get the best out of their themselves and that passion that compassion or that kind of energy that i carry will give me the much more uh, value to live my life to spend my days to actually recreate myself with every video with every uh, lines of write with every line of uh, writing with every line of creativity with every spark of talk i become more energized i become more uh, compassion i become the uh, you know jumping and bumping i'll be jumping and bumping and this gives me energy this gives me the real satisfaction this gives me the real happiness everyone in our lives have this kind of phase find your talents find your skill set find way to exactly want to invest your time find way you could be helpful to the people find your purpose of living my purpose of purpose of living revolves around two things the first thing is who did you become are you becoming a giant successful leader who can help millions of people are you becoming a light for the people are you becoming a actual influencer a philosopher a creator a humanitarian a philanthropist whatever it might be whatever your field of working might be are you becoming the best version of yourself day by day are you rejoicing yourself are you celebrating your small achievements are you in the process of victory are you in the process of growth who did you become and the second thing is how many lives did you touch how many hearts did you influence how many souls uh, did you recreate how many physical physical personalities that you have been transformed showing them the light of enthusiasm showing them the path of wisdom showing them the enlightenment and this is what really means to me if you want to create something you would die for then you are fit to live that means most people are buried at 60 or 70 or 100 but they most people didn't most people are buried at that age they are generally but what happening in today's world is their thoughts have been buried at maybe at 27 or 30 or 35 because they don't lay, live in their ideologies they don't implement what they thought to be their burning desires their powerfulness their infinite potential has been buried and when these all the things are buried they have been completely buried they are in the acting scenarios they are spending their life in their media credit and if you want to fulfill your dreams if you want to achieve something great that means you have to create something great apple could not have been formed if steve jobs did not thought about it or maybe any legendary producer could not have been in that stage let's say mother teresa she could not have been the mother to all of us we could not have embraced her greatness if she would have not helped the millions of people on the road sides so this is how you want to you have to create so it might be in terms of uh, energy money or time whatever it might be whatever the potential you have got you have to realize it 
you have to work on it you have to recreate on it you have to reflect on it and then you have to produce for the world not because you want to make money or you want to prove you are great but because the world needs more heroes like you and me and you are a hero i believe so you are a legendary person you want to sustain the mountain peak of happiness you want to sustain that level of satisfaction you want to create that compassion level you you are enthusiastic never will disbelieve in you always you are a charming superhero hope you will be catching more lives in your life in your lifetime and hope you will become the greatest and the most influential person on earth and this is what dying something and when you die the whole world should rejoice and that is the spark that i am carrying right now and hope you would be carrying the same and all the best and help me more people touch more lives become energetic and become the most influential person that you could have ever become thank you